Hey guys. So today I'm going to be telling you guys how to um, set up for Blood Rage. Obviously the first thing you do is you set down your board, your Valhalla and your age track sheets. And then you're going to be placing these pillage tokens. Now there's going to be now there's going to be eight black pillage tokens. You're going to shuffle them and then random, randomly place them in each province around the board. There is one green one, and that is just placed in the middle. So, next, since I am playing a two-player game, let's go over these clans. So I'm playing there's two different clans here. we got the Bear Clan and the Raven Clan. Now each clan, let's just choose the Raven Clan, each, each clan has their own specific leader. And it should match the pitcher. So each clan has their own leader and their own boat. The next, um, they're going to have their own warriors, and there should be eight of them. And you're going to be, and also obviously if this is the first time you're playing the game, you're going to be snapping on these little um, plastic things on each of the of your characters, except for the boat because the boat has a blue sail on it. Um, which will leave you with two bigger ones and two smaller ones. So when you're upgrading and getting better guys, you can snap them in there. Next on this sheet here, you'll be taking these glory tokens, pl place them in each column. So as you're upgrading, you're going to be sliding this down when you upgrade. And then also this is to keep track of... Um, you're starting rage, so it's six, so you started at six. So everyone should be at six in the beginning. Next, it's like I said, I'm playing a two player game. You're going to take these Ragnar Ragnarok tokens, you're going to shuffle them, just like you did the pillage tokens. But in this case, you're going to be, um, like I said, it's a two player game, so you're going to be drawing three of them and placing them in the start of the game. And basically, they're going to be just destroy areas. So. Go ahead and do this really quick. So that is destroyed, so you won't be able to use that area. And that is destroyed. And... No, oh, that's right here. That is destroyed. So, if it's a four-player game, you'll be placing one. A three-player game, you're placing two. A two-player game, you're placing three. After you've done that, you're going to be placing three more right here. And these are going to be the next areas that are going to be destroyed. Provinces, so they're going to be destroyed. And once you've done that, what you do, since obviously we're starting in the first age, you're going to take this Doom token and you're going to place it on the province that's shown right there. So, it's basically saying this spot right here is going to be destroyed next. So after the end of the age, this is going to come down and be and destroyed. And any creatures there are, and, and both that are next to it are going to be destroyed. So, that said, um, of course there's a first player token. You decide who's the first player. I guess it says whoever's the players to the north <laughs> um, is the first player. The starting player, and then you're going to place your tokens, obviously on the track. Keep track your points. And oh, this is our saga token. This will be keeps track of which um, where you're at in the age. And then you're going to be taking each of these piles. And like I said, since this is a two-player game, you're going to be going through. Each of these decks, they're God's gifts, I guess, you want to call them. But anyway, you're going to go through each stack of God's gifts, and you're going to go through and take out, there should be a plus three and a plus four on, on the cards you'll be taking out. So go through each, go, go through every card and look for a, a plus three, plus four, and take it out. And obviously, if you're playing a th three-player game, you'll just, you're just taking out the, f the plus fours and so on. So... Two player game, take out plus three, plus fours. 
And after you do that, you shuffle them, put it back, and do that for each age. And let's see. And I think you're just, I think you're ready to go. That's the, that's how you set up the game. So I'm gonna make another video of how to play. I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna play um, one age just so you guys can get the feel of the game and all that good stuff. So anyway, that is the basic setup of Blood Rage. Thanks for watching.